Hello everyone, I'm Jake! Hi, I'm Hannah, how are you all doing? Welcome to another Bible study! We clicked the button at the time, and then we started it right after that. At almost exactly 1 p.m. It had to be 101 p.m. Hannah's on a schedule. I did take. I have to take my meds at the same time every day. I didn't Otherwise, realize that uh, until today. the hormones don't work as well because my body is demanding. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we're here today with some more Jesus. It's the thing. It's the thing we do. We are here for. Um, Jesus is going to give some truly bizarre and not good advice, and I really like that about him. He's really good at that. Uh, giving advice that you shouldn't give anybody, but he's got the confidence to do it nonetheless. And then he'll like multiple people will write it down and be like, "Yeah, let do that." Like last week when he said not to wash your hands. You should wash your hands. That's there's poo on them. Yeah. Don't don't. And I, you know, and and we talked about Romans and stuff and how that works there in the Roman thing, but they kind of reject Roman culture. I don't know what they had going on, but wipey. Stop. How did the how did Jesus wipe his butt? Is a great thing to type into Google. How he pressed did it digitated. Jesus he got rid of it magically. But how did Jesus wipe his butt? The history of butt wiping. Okay, the golden age of butt wiping. Obviously, we live in the golden age of butt wiping right now. True, that's a fact. I have a bidet, so that is definitely true. <sighs> have you used a bidet? If you use a bidet, you'll never feel like your asshole's clean in a non bidet toilet ever again. I have uh, dude wipes. Okay. Okay. I don't know why they're called dude wipes, though. I don't know why they're marketing towards dudes. Maybe they're, I don't know, like, do do I have a naturally rougher butthole? Here's a good question. Has your It's butt, a uselessly butthole, gendered product. Has your butthole what? gotten softer? I I don't think I ever they tested. They say skin gets softer, so, I mean, you gotta know, right? I don't think I've ever actually sat hmm. and comparatively, well, like, now, felt. Now reset. We need to do this for science. We need to start fresh. Anyway, figuring out your butthole things. He's just, just uh, do the Blair White, and you can make a really controversial. I'm detransitioning, so I can do butthole science, and and then and then we'll get the big bucks from the grift, and we'll figure out if your butthole gets softer. No. Okay, fine. Someone out there, document it. I need to know. Jesus' butthole was perfect, by the way, according to the Bible. So, Jesus says, um, while he's hanging out with the disciples, as you do, chilling uh, in in Jerusalem, um, I'm pretty sure, was the last time when he said, hey, I'm going to die or something, or is that later? I don't remember. We read it last time, but I don't know if we read it out yeah, loud. Yeah, he, okay. he, sometime last week when we were reading, I don't remember which episode, but he talked about, like, I'm going to die. Okay, so shortly after traumatizing his bros, which is not a thing you should do. They're sitting around, and he decides to speak because he's Jesus, and he can't keep his mouth shut. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Hey, who's who's the greatest kingdom of heaven? Who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus, <coughs> um, like like fucking Snow White, made a, made, a, made a small Twitter with his mouth, and a small child wandered over to him. And he placed the child among them, and he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Uh, don't use your don't use kids for political props. Also, I find the... I don't want to use the word that I was going to use because it involves mm. children. I'll use it, though, because I don't mean it in the sexual way. Okay. I don't like the fetishization of childhood innocence, the way mm, that it's yes. portrayed, not only here, but in a lot of culture. The idea that, like, oh, look at the little children. They're so innocent and beautiful and perfect little sky beings. And if anyone, they're like little cherubs, and you should turn your... No. Kids are little shits. They Kids are, are fucking sociopaths. Yes. They are assholes they who need right to be from taught wrong. to be an adult person. Yeah. Like, and by someone that has enough patience to do so, not most people. Yeah. And so, that's why they turn to, to the rest of us. We need I'm the not best a big, among us. I'm not a big fan of the, you need to transform yourself into the innocence of a child. Kids are really stupid. Yeah. And I don't know, it, it, it doesn't seem like you would give people... 
more than what children get if they were the apex of what we ought to be. Sure. If and I don't blame... By the way, I don't blame children. I don't, like, hate children. I just don't want to interact with them <laughs> ever. Uh, but, like, I, they need to I be can taught. Blame That's fine. Being 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 a kid is not something to aspire to. That is what I would put. It you isn't. Know? I... I... I mean, you know, yeah, I, kids don't have a lot of responsibility, and I think that's why adults sort of pine after that. But they also don't get to do what they want, and I feel like you'd lose your mind if I treated any any one of you adults like a child. Yeah, no. If I had the same restriction put on me as I had as a kid, I would never... I was going to say I'd just be in my room all day doing nothing, uh -oh. but that's basically what I do anyway. But the thing is, I can leave, and I can also order yeah. food, and I can go and do things... Yeah. And I can buy whatever I want as that, long as I pay that, my bills. Did you get that foldy pizza? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, did, you, did you get it? Did you get the foldy pizza? No, I was about? no. I heard. I know it's good. Yeah. I well, gotta no, get I it. Just, I just, I just was wondering because that's a thing maybe I'll get do. it tonight. I don't know. Well, live your dreams. You can also. Just I got get... paid. So hell yeah. Is it that day? It is kind of that day. Uh, yeah. <coughs> he goes on to say, under causing to stumble, stumble. Um, if anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. I, I, you know, I think he's talking about us. He is. I want to bring that up. I think he's talking about us. Okay. Um, we've had people tell us throughout the series of years that we've had this show, eight years or whatever at this point, that we've been away for them to leave religion. So we are we are that. We are better off having a millstone hung around our necks. This is this is uh Jesus. Don Jesus saying uh, <laughs> they're, they're gonna be sleeping with the fishes, you know? Uh, mm. cement shoes, except it's Put a cement big, necklace. Me big meaty hands on both sides of our face, and he looks <laughs> into our eyes and says, Why you making me do this? I loved you like a son. And then he kisses yeah. us on the cheek, and then they <laughs> shoot us on a boat. This is like the season of Sopranos I saw. So, um, he continues to say, Woe to the world, because of the things that cause people to stumble us. Such things must come, but woe to the person through whom they come. Look, I'm an adult man. You cannot write those words to me without me thinking dumb stuff. You can't do I think, it. I don't think you or I are the standard in terms of adults, though. We're pretty we immature. Are, we better be the life. standard. We better be the standard. Okay. Don't get in the way of people coming. And, and definitely, I pity the fool through whom they come. So, if your hand or foot causes you to stumble, simply cut it off and throw it away. <laughs> It is better for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands or feet and be thrown into inter eternal fire. I have comments. I would love to hear your comments. I I feel like Jesus may be being a little extreme here. Let's, Wait, let's wait mind. whoa, pump the brakes, chief. You think one of two choices are, are two extreme. Number one, maimed. Cut, cut off a limb. Totally fine. Going to be totally fine. Not maimed. Eternal hellfire. I mean, I feel like there may be other options. For instance, you could maybe come up with a system that doesn't involve punishing someone eternally for not learning their lesson soon enough. <laughs> what? Like, like a prison sentence? No, like, where, worse than a prison sentence. Like, a prison sentence that, oh, you're talking about what would be better? What would be better is some sort of reformative justice. Something that would actually teach you a lesson and not just punish you for eternity. I don't, I don't know about that. Know the show, that. for instance, comedy writers who aren't the omnipotent and omniscient creator of the universe wrote a show called The Good Place... And in the final season of that show, they come up with a pretty good uh, idea for what the afterlife should be. So I feel, I feel like, like if comedy writers can do that, do you just go, it seems you just to go me back if you don't fuck it up. It's, if, 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 if I don't want to spoil. Up, and then if you and then if you uh, 
you you can you keep grinding. You keep grinding. You just keep going back if you want and grinding. That's how it works. I don't want to spoil The Good Place. It's a really good show. Have you not watched The Good Place yet? No. Oh, watch it. It's so good. It's, it's get, so it's, so good. It's getting on. It's getting up there on the list. Okay, and definitely get through. Have you even watched through the first season? No. It's network okay. television. I was not. Yeah. I was no, not no, on no. Board until okay, after. but so is The Office, right? I would, I yeah. would put it up there with like the. You got to get through the first season, and it, and it. Mm, I can't, I can't without spoiling. And part once you get through the first season, you'll be like, ah, oh. and then. Okay. That's the noise great I show. like to make. So, everyone, go watch the Good Place. It's on Netflix. And if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It's better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes be thrown into the fire of hell. Do not gouge your eye out under any circumstance. Uh, even if there's bees in your eye, leave them. Leave them in there. What? I know. If your what? eye is a beehive, do not gouge it out. What scenario are you in where you think I'm getting attacked uh, by bees in no, the not eyes? not attacked by bees. That's where they live. I said and, your eye is a beehive. And I'm, instead of like doing this, yeah. I'm doing this? You think I'm poking my eyes to get rid of the bees? Well, I just said don't do it. I, I was, it's one of the things you ought not do. Why do bees live in my eyes I in don't this know. scenario? Bee eyes? You're weird. You got weird eye bees. My head would be a terrible environment for bees to produce honey for their young. I feel like it's probably a very nutritious place to to, to grow bees. No, it's nothing but hot pockets. I feel like it's you nothing like jazz, but hot pockets though. in Greece. <laughs> Jesus decides to talk again in Mark. It's a little bit different. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that, avoiding the intense dismay that I have caused my co-host, uh, ignoring it entirely, uh, causing to stumble in Mark chapter 9, verse 42. Uh, Jesus has more kids around, because he's allowed access. Uh, we don't question it at this point. If anyone causes one of these little ones, and now he has, he's like salty, he's got many, many to choose from. He's the, like Rem Lazar. I, oh, God, I still got to show you Rem Lazar, God damn it. Yeah, yeah. There's too many people. We need to call them. We need to... <laughs> Maybe we should chill on the vaccine for a little bit longer. <laughs> to see who else we can, you know, wheat chaff sort of situation. Uh, <laughs> to stumble, it would be better for them if a large millstone were hung around their neck... And they're thrown to the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off, blah, blah, blah. So the same thing. Guide your eye out if you have bees in it. Um, and then he says, if you have, if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. So instead of a hand and foot, you, 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 I don't know. It's a little bit different. And then there's like a little thing. There's like a little thing he says. Better for you to enter the kingdom of God, blah, blah, blah. And then he describes hell. Here's, here's a description of hell. In hell... The worms that eat them do not die, and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt among yourselves and be at peace with each other. You are the king of the universe. Why do you not know how salt works? <laughs> God damn it. Salt. But, you know, the salt that isn't salty? It doesn't get unsalty. It's made of the same stuff. Yep. Salt yep. is be like salt. Saying, it would be like saying, what do you do if your water stops being wet? It You can't. That's an intrinsic property of the thing. It's not. That's not. Did they have, like... Salt, like that's not like maybe could shield to a rock or something. They're just licking it, and then was, suddenly they get to like a, a rock that's no longer salty, and they're like, "Well, what the fuck do we do with this? It's not salt at all." That's my assumption. Salt. So does that mean that they? <laughs> There's so many questions that this makes happen. Do they suck the rock. Yeah. Or do they break off pieces of salty rock? Surely okay. they must have Imagine seen the difference in it. Imagine the the tastiest thing in the world is uh, like obviously salty rocks. 
No, I was just going to say, like, you have no... Sp spices are a thing, but they're, like, you know, they're expensive. You don't necessarily have them every day for your food. Or if you sure. do, they're probably not the, the most exotic of spices. So you're eating relatively bland meat, and you're eating vegetables they without... They lived on the uh, Mediterranean Sea! Walk down to the beach! Let some water evaporate in a bowl! But that's, that's what I'm saying. They probably use that, and that's, like, their main thing. But and... it doesn't lose saltiness! It's still not a thing that happens! It, the salt's gone. It's just not there. It doesn't, it's no, it's not less salty. You've consumed it. That's the know. end of it. The, how? How do they not know? How a child could intuit, oh, there was salt on that thing. I licked it up. No more salt. Not that is less salty salt. Fuck. I'm so, <laughs> no, you will not talk me into believing that the creator of the fucking universe Forgot how salt works. Okay. All right. So this, I guess, is the same. Sin, faith, and duty. Is that is that true? Is that the one you want me to read? In, in it talks in, about in the it talks about the stone thing. All that, right. The, I believe you. This is just very different. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, so so in Luke, who uh. Again, Luke d does not give a shit about what anybody else wrote. Okay, Luke is in here uh, blazing his own trail. All right, he is he is like, uh, what was that? Uh, wait, what was the fanfic? Was Stephanie Meyer already a fanfic? Stephanie Meyer wrote uh, the the Twilight books, and then Fifty Shades of Grey started out as a fanfic written by E. L. James, who That's then what changed it, was. it to. This is the Fifty Shades. That's what Luke yeah. is. He's the Fifty Shades of uh, of the Bible, where where there's pieces of it there, sure, but he's going off in crazy directions. So he just starts this chapter. Jesus is uh, just talking to his disciples, and he says. Things that cause people to stumble are bound to come, but woe to anyone through whom they come. It'd be better for them to be thrown to the sea with a millstone tied around their neck than to cause one of these little ones to stumble. So, so, so watch yourself. There's no little ones in this scene, but he does say these little ones. Maybe there was one. Maybe there was one in in, in chapter sixteen. I don't know. I am not. I am not fucked enough to 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 look that up and to fact check. Okay, ignore me. He goes on to say, if your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. And if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith, which is a way of saying like, like, yeah, but that sounds hard. Sounds tough. Can we talk about forgiveness real quick? Okay. Fucking stupid. <laughs> Okay, I think it depends upon what we are uh, yeah, talking sure, about sure, contextually. Sure, sure. But for like if someone forgiveness in general, like I'm just good, I'm going to forgive you for murdering my brother. No, okay. unless I, it's a path towards mental health. I think you are talking more about unconditional forgiveness as opposed to the concept of forgiveness in general, because forgiveness can be a good thing. Well, amongst... I don't mean like you bump my car and you b bend my fender or something. I'm talking about like. Sure. I'm talking like, or and even like a friend, you have more leeway than a stranger. But I'm just saying like, like if you killed my dog, fuck there, you. You know what I'm saying? There like, are limits. There's limits yes. to it. So there's forgiveness of like the little stuff. Yeah, I don't harbor a fucking like grudge for no reason. But like the way Christians say forgiveness, the way they feign forgiveness as well, where they're like, I'm for the death penalty, but also I forgive you. Like, fuck off. That's yep. not forgiveness, you dog shit person. By the way, the death penalty sucks. Um, he con continues to talk about this mustard seed thing again. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say this to the mulberry tree. Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. It fucking won't. It fucking will not. It will not. You can't. I like that. I like that Jesus is folksy and talks in metaphors of, like, mulberry trees and mustard seeds. <laughs> he is, like, a hippie dude. He's, like, a hippie dude, but the one that gets angry and, like, beats his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, he's yeah. like, 
yeah, man, we all need to love each other. And if you don't, I'll fucking burn you. But like the mulberry tree, man, and the mustard seed, they all live in harmony. So should we. And if you don't, I'll fucking burn you. It's like a weird. <laughs> yes, yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, he goes on, so, suppose one of you has a servant plowing or looking after the sheep. Because it's not like we're doing that shit, obviously. Uh, will he say to the servant when he comes in from the field, Come along now and sit down to eat. Won't he rather say, Prepare my supper. Get yourself ready and wait on me while I drink and eat. After that, after that you may eat and drink. Uh, will he thank the servant because he did what he was told to do? So you also... When you have done everything you were told to do, you should say, we are unworthy ser servants. We have only done our duty. So the message here was not treat your servant nice. The message here was know your fucking place. Yeah. The, Jesus wouldn't tip. <laughs> Jesus doesn't wash his hands or tip, meaning that he not only won't give you money for what you are doing, <laughs> he'll, give you he'll the also COVID. give you salmonella. <laughs> Yeah, I served that five times, or that, wait, how many, how many fucking disciples got, ten of them? Twelve. We had, oh, twelve, that's right. We had a thirteen group table, five percent tip. Absolute, the worst, and I'm pretty and sure I got pink, pink eye. eye. <laughs> <laughs> they wrecked, they only bought one bottle of wine among them. They didn't get any wine. All they just waters. got water for the table, and then all this wine showed true, up, and I was true. like, where did they get this fucking wine? True, they, they brought their own assholes. <laughs> anyway, they ate filled up on bread, naps. Get out of here. In fairness, who doesn't love breadsticks? Bread you gotta get those delicious. bottomless breadsticks. You gotta order, you gotta get Olive Some, Garden, and then uh, you gotta order... Uh, uh. You gotta order fifty breadsticks. Okay, th th there's one thing. If if Jesus had visited Olive Garden, he would not be confused about how salt works. Everything there is covered in salt. <laughs> he would be an expert in salt. Did you know you can bring your own wine into Olive Garden today? Like because of the COVID or no? Like always. Why? I was I've been there before, and I went to dinner there once, and they're like, "And you can bring your own wine," and it's like, "Why would I? What kind of fucking psychotic person do you think I am that I'm like? Yeah, but why? Oh, though? gotta go get a nice bottle of wine. I'm going to the Olive Garden tonight. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand what the. <laughs> and I've had like Olive Garden wine before. Okay, it's fine. okay. Here's but, the thing. Like, would you? Rather... I'm not gonna bring one in. All right. Would you rather bring a bottle of wine to Olive Garden with one other person? Or eat at Olive Garden alone. Ooh. Because both are very embarrassing. And I'll bring a bottle of wine. I think, bring I, a I think wine. I'm bringing a bottle of wine, too. But I think it's still fucked up. I don't think you should do that. I don't know why. That just sounds weird. I feel like if they allowed you to do that in Italy, I'd want to do that. But yeah. at Olive Garden, it's weird. I don't know yeah. why it's weird, but it's weird. Like, I might as well bring a bottle of wine into an Applebee's or yeah, something. Yeah, I don't like, I don't fucking... Then yeah. I'm just an alcoholic, right? <laughs> just because you're serving me lasagna doesn't make it not weird. <laughs> Applebee's has those $1 margaritas, though. Yeah. Ah, $1 margs. Let's get it. Anyway, that's the end of it. It's all of it. Yep. That's it. What's the next time? We haven't even looked, have we? I don't know. I don't know either. We'll talk about some Jesus or something. I think we might do some Jesus. There's some parables still, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna die at some point. Uh, Spoilers. Yeah. So he's got some stuff going on. Um, uh, he heals some folks. Uh, there's lots of it's like we're in that we're a lot of the 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 Jesus work stuff, which is very wanky. They're constantly like, hey, isn't Jesus great? He, like, told us that we're, we're dog shit without him. And then he healed a blind kid with his poo hand. His bacterial infection was way more. You're looking it up? Oh, I was looking at what we're going to do next. Hmm. I think it's going to be the parable of the unmerciful servant and maybe talking about divorce. Oh, hell on. yeah. That's the one I want to do. Talk about divorce. Hot take. It's always a good thing. Always a good thing. 
hundred percent of the time. Two right. happy people have that's uh, that's a comedy bit from someone, two but it's a true statement. Two divorced. happy people have never gotten divorced. So exactly. I forget yeah. what comedian said that. But. Know, that sounds like every comedian that's ever made any joke about divorce. It's, <laughs> it's the most obvious thing to say about it. It's like, well, that's sure. a good thing. Congratulations. That sounds like shitty. Uh, okay, so uh, that's the end of this. Go to our other things to see the stuff we do. We also have some Ruby Rubes happening, so enjoy that. We also have some other stuff occurring, so do that as well. How you can exciting. check out our uh, secondary channels. We both have individual channels. Uh, YouTube.com slash, is it actual, Jake? Yeah. And uh, YouTube.com slash Hannah Reloaded. We do tons of stuff. All of it. Uh, I, I put up stuff almost every day over there, so go check yeah. them out. And I also have, Twitch. I have multiple stuff most days, so yeah. it happens a lot. We do a Did lot of stuff. Did you watch Mimsy Moon's new rap? I didn't watch the rap yet. Um, she, I did see that she is done with me, though. Yeah. Until she watches another video of mine. And then just routinely doesn't address a single thing I said, which is surprise. Not surprise. Did you see she moved the goalpost now, and now it's not just for 13 and up, but it's supposed to be a parody of kids shows for adults. I think she finally heard us talking about the fact that what oh, she's yeah, doing I mentioned should get her. I mentioned yeah. it explicitly. Yeah. I'm like, like clearly your grift is for children. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Not a good thing. It's like she doesn't make any money anyway, though, but that's okay. She's not, she doesn't qualify for monetization yet on YouTube. Yeah. I think you got to have, I, I guess I don't know. Last time I checked, it was a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of concurrent views per month or, or a certain amount of views per month. And I don't know. She, what doesn't, she doesn't have that. Anyway, so that's good. So you can see some of this weird shit that we're talking about. There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, what else was happening? I got invited to do something, but I don't remember what I did or wanted to do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I love your faces. Have a wonderful time doing the thing it is that you were doing before. Probably tabbed out to watch this in between refractory periods. It's totally reasonable. It's COVID uh, stuff. You got to do what you got to do to stay keep that serotonin flowing. You know what I'm saying? Hydrate. Oh, yeah. It'll come out clumpy. <laughs>